We used to say, making diapers isn't rocket science. But we went and asked some rocket scientists, and they told us what we do is harder. Free surface flow on and through a compressible porous media that's partially saturated is a, a baby using a diaper. We are increasingly using modeling and simulation to teach us things where experiments are hard to do, things at the size of a micelle. So you're talking about something that is so small you can't even see it reliably with a microscope. What makes shampoos thick or thin? It's what makes things dispense easily, like toothpaste, dispense easily but stay put where applied. I can do a simulation with molecular dynamics on that micelle and understand what's going to happen to the rheology of a fluid and then I can predict what molecular structures do to that, dyes, perfumes, or other ingredients. Modeling and simulation gives the opportunity for every consumer good to do its job better. It's like the golden age of aviation, right? For the guys who got to fly airplanes when they were being invented. We've got to play with computers when they when really become serious learning devices.